I told Mr. Washington I wanted to become a disc jockey. Someone asked me to tell the story. And he said, Les Brown, he said, if you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. And so I started working to develop myself. He said, I want you to practice every day being a disc jockey. I said, but I don't have any job now. He said, it doesn't matter. He said that it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So every day I was working to develop myself. And that's what you must do. And as I was working to develop myself, I applied for a job as a disc jockey at WMB on Miami Beach. I went to a guy named Milton Butterball. I said, how you doing, Mr. Butterball? I'd like to get a job as a disc jockey. He looked at me, he said, do you have any broadcast background? I said, no, sir, I don't. Do you have any journalism background? I said, no, sir, I don't. He said, we don't have any jobs available. I said, yes, sir. I went back to Mr. Washington and I told him, he said, don't take it personally. He said, most people are so negative, they will have to say no seven times before they say yes. He said, go back again. So I went back again. I said, how you doing, Mr. Butterball? My name is Les Brown. He said, I know what your name is. What do you want? I said, I'd like to know whether or not you have any jobs at this jockey, sir. He said, didn't I just tell you yesterday we didn't have any jobs? I said, yes, sir, but I know whether or not somebody got laid off or somebody was fired, sir. He said, no one was laid off or fired. Now get on out of here. I came back the next day. Hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you? He said, fine. What do you want now? I said, I'd like to know whether or not you got any jobs, sir. Didn't I tell you the last two days we didn't have any jobs? I said, yes, sir, but I don't know whether or not somebody got sick or somebody died, sir. I came back the next day like I was seeing you for the first time. I said, hello, Mr. Butterball, how are you? He looked at me with rage. He said, go get me some coffee. I said, yes, sir. And I went to get him some coffee. After a while, I would give them lunch and dinner, and I would go into control rooms and take the disc jockeys their food, and I would not leave until they would ask me to leave. Then they started trusting me to pick up entertainers that came to town. Entertainers like the Four Tops and the Temptations and Donna Ross and the Supremes. I would drive them all over Miami Beach in the disc jockeys' big, long Cadillacs. I didn't have any driver's license, but I was driving like I had some. And one day, one Saturday afternoon, while I was at the radio station, a guy named Rock was drinking while he was on the air. I was the only one there, looking at him through the control room windows, walking back and forth, young, ready, and hungry. I was saying, drink, Rock, drink. Drink, Rock, I'd have gone to get him some more if he'd asked me to. Pretty soon the phone rang and it was the general manager. And I answered the phone. I said, hello? He said, Les, this is Mr. Klein. I said, I know. He said, Rock can't finish his program. I said, I know. He said, would you call one of the other DJs in? I said, yes, sir. I hung the phone up. I said, now he must be think I'm crazy. I called my mom and my girlfriend, Cassandra. I said, y'all turn up the radio and come out on the front porch. I'm about to come on the air. I waited for about 20 minutes, and I called him back. I said, Mr. Klein, I can't find nobody. He said, young boy, do you know how to work the controls? I said, yes, sir. He said, go in there and don't say nothing here. I said, yes, sir. I couldn't wait to get behind those controls. I put on an old Stevie Wonder record called Fingertips. I sat down behind that turntable. I said, look out, this is me, LB, Triple P. Les Brown, your platter playing papa. There were none before me, and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Young and single and love to mingle, certified, bona fide, and dubitably qualified to bring you satisfaction, a whole lot of action. Look out, baby, I'm your love man. I was hungry. I was hungry. You got to be hungry. 